Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, as you can see, the microprocessor has been interfaced with the 10-bit DAC. So here, the eight data lines of the microprocessor has been connected to the DAC, and the remaining two input lines of the DAC is connected to the ground terminal. So here, on these data lines, the two sets of different data is given to the DAC. So here. We have been asked to find the change in the output voltage which is observed at the DAC. So here the first set of data which is being sent through this data line is equal to 1010-1010. And then the new set of data which is applied to the DAC is equal to 1010-1100. So here with the help of this data line, this 8 bits of data is applied to the DAC. But actually if you see, then the DAC consists of 10 input lines. And here, this A1 and A0 are connected to the ground terminal. So if you see the exit data input, which is applied to the DAC, then it will consist of 10 bits. So in the first case, these are the 10 bits. So here as you can see, we also need to consider this A1 and A0 lines. Similarly, in the second case, this is the 10 bit data. So now, if you compare these data inputs, then the difference between them is equal to 1 0 0 0 or in the decimal that corresponds to 8. That means between these two data inputs there is a difference of 8 counts. Now for the DAC as you know its resolution can be given by this expression that is the full scale output voltage divided by 2 to the power n minus 1. So in this case the full scale output voltage of the DAC is equal to 1.023 volt. And the given DAC is the 10 bit DAC. That means in the denominator, we will have this 2 to the power 10 minus 1. That is equal to 1.023 divided by 1023. And that is equal to 0 0.001 volt. Or we can say that that is equal to 1 millivolt. That means the resolution of the DAC is equal to 1 millivolt. That means if we increase the data input by 1 bit, then there will be a change of 1 millivolt in the DAC output. So in general we can say that the change in the DAC output is equal to the change in the input count times resolution. So in this case as you know, the difference between the two data inputs is equal to 8 counts. And here the resolution of the DAC is equal to 1 millivolt. That means overall if we see, then in the DAC output there will be a change of 8 millivolt. So from this we can say that for the given question the answer is 8 millivolt.